Hello my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the Finchwick area today, and we are on a new lot where we will be building a Victorian vicarage. And living in this vicarage is the McConnell family. Father Matthew McConnell, his husband Robin, and their adopted daughter Poppy. So let's get into game and I'll introduce you to them a little bit better. Happy Thursday, my darlings, and welcome back to Let's Build. And welcome to a brand new family. The McConnells are here. These are the lovely Sims that are going to be living in the old vicarage, um, which is a vicarage and is where a vicar would reside. And we do have a hot, sexy vicar in this safe file. This is Father Matthew. Father Matthew McConnell. I mean, just beautiful as far as I'm concerned. And I am a whore, so I will make my um, vicar very, very hot. And I will also make him a big homosexual because this is his husband, Robin, over here as well. So I think these two are probably in their early 40s, maybe going into their mid 40s kind of age. Looking great, by the way. Bit of Botox, bit of that, bit of Jesus love. You know, it all goes down. And I reckon they've been together for many years as well, since they're like sort of early 20s, maybe even their late teens. And I don't think they're from Henford on Bagley. I don't see them being kind of local to this area. I reckon they were more wind from Windenburg in the kind of city sort of area. And I think Matthew got a job being the head of the church of Henford on Bagley. So this is where it's bought them. I reckon they've been here for a few years, though. I reckon they came when Poppy was probably around the age of about five or six, like that. Kind. So this is what Poppy knows. Poppy knows Henford on Bagley. She loves living here. She really does. She's very much in touch with nature and all of that good stuff. We'll get over to Poppy in just a second and talk to her about her a little bit more. But we first just need to go down to the root and just get into the, de the depths of these two characters a little bit more. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a nice big video tour and show you their family life and how it all goes about. I would love some more ideas from you lovelies as well. If you've got any ideas for this storyline and these characters, as always, get them down below in the comments. Now, it was kind of difficult to find Matthew a job that kind of suited the idea of being a vicar, considering we don't really have that in game. So what I've done is made him a conservationist, um, but I've made him like a community organiser. That kind of had a nice ring to it. I can kind of imagine that being a big thing in the life of a vicar. So I've kind of, I've gone down that route with him. And I think that just kind of suits him and he's still earning a little bit of money from it as well. Uh, but the main breadwinner is our Robin, who is a GP. So he is a general practitioner and he's trying to climb up the ladder a little bit more. He wants to get to chief of staff and start earning a little bit more money. He does work very, very hard. He is constantly at work. He's a little bit overworked, I would say, like much of the NHS um, in the UK at the minute because of, you know, greedy bastards and all of that kind of good stuff. We're not going to get into that just now. But I kind of see him in a bit more of a higher role as the story progresses. So maybe that's what he's heading towards, being the kind of chief of staff. And I don't know. I don't, he's really kind sim as well. I've made them both generous sims. Um, so they're, they're perfect for each other, really. Absolutely perfect. And they worship the ground that each of them walk under they really really do and then they've got their a lovely adoptive daughter poppy so poppy is well first things first i think she's absolutely beautiful for some reason she reminds me a little bit of julia roberts and i don't know why i think it's the eyes or something i don't know i can see julia roberts in her and she is one of my favorite actresses so i'm absolutely for it um but poppy is a little bit different to her dad's let's sh <laughs> we shall say poppy is obviously goth we always need a goth sim I love the aesthetic and I love my goth friends. So I need I need to pay respect to them and always bring out a beautiful goth sim for my safe file. There will be a goth male floating around the world as well. So let me just say that. Maybe even two. Who can say? But Poppy is a little bit not trouble. She just likes to go against the norm. She doesn't sort of fit into any societal standards. And she likes that. She likes to break away from it. She loves her dads. They're all very, very close. They really are. But she's kind of testing the waters at the minute. She's getting into a bit of trouble here and there, doing things that she knows she shouldn't be doing, but she's just trying to develop her frontal lobe, um, so to speak. And she's just out for a good time. She's out for a good time. She's having fun with her friends. 
And she doesn't really know where she wants to go in the world. She's a really talented writer, like really talented writer. And she she writes poems, she writes stories. She's like made up this whole fantasy world that um, she really wants to kind of go down the route of. She wants to go to university as well to study English li literature. And she knows that at that time she wants to buckle down with work. So now when she's on the kind of in the kind of precipice of her teenage years. She's just playing around a little bit and causing a bit of trouble, sneaking out of the house, going past curfew, all of that stuff. And the, their dad doesn't know what she's up to. They kind of think like, you know, she's a teen. She's going through those moments. She's unreligious, by the way. She is an atheist. So she doesn't believe in any religion, um, which is fine by her dad's as well. Absolutely fine. Like whatever, like it's, it's it's your life, your choice, all of that kind of good stuff. Good dad's very good at parenting, made that apparent with the skills as well. But I just wanted this family where there's a very kind of different dynamic to all of them. And yet they're all still very close. And that's what I find with this family here. They're just, they're going through a little bit of the teenage angst years with Poppy at the minute. So they're, they're being challenged, but they're still a very close dynamic unit. And I like that about them. I really do. So if you've got any ideas further with these lovely characters, then feel free, as I said, to let me know down below. So we're going to be building on this lot in, Hem in Finchwick, sorry, Hemford on Bagley, obviously. But I really want to do an old vicarage. I'm going to pop up a couple of reference images up into the screen now. So this lovely kind of like Victorian, semi-gothic. I want to go a little bit more gothic with this uh, sort of build. So I am going to be using quite a lot of maybe the castle estate sort of like pieces for this one. I just think it would suit this area nicely to have something that looks a little bit less kind of Cotswolds vibes and going for something that will kind of mirror in with kind of Haddon Hall, you know, that kind of vibe. So that's what we're doing here. And um, we're going to be building a nice three bedroom vicarage that is obviously a family home as well. So that is indeed what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get over to the build mode properly. And we're going to make a bloody start. So here we go. Now, as you can see, this is not a big lot at all, but I've had thoughts with this. I think I'm going to utilize the tool mod a little bit and put out some stuff for the garden at the back here. Because this kind of looks like one lot anyway, you know, it makes me wonder why they went and didn't put like a bigger lot here. I don't understand. But I think what that's what I want to do. So garden space is going to be kind of put in with the tool sort of mod and the house is kind of probably going to take up the whole of this, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's how we're going to do it. That's how this house is going to come about. Yes, it doesn't it? So we've got this wonderful Victorian looking um, vicarage. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a medium wall. Can we get a bit of better lighting back here? The answer to that is hell no to the no, no. <laughs> Shush. We're moving on. It's got this wonderful bay window here. I am going to copy this frontage because I love it. I think it's perfect. Um, I think that might be a bit too... Oh, no. No, it comes across... The, oh, okay, actually. Let's can cancel that. And let's come one forward and do it this way. Yes, there we go. That's what I wanted. Um, do I, did I do three there? No, let's keep it two. And then we can go in one there. And then we can always come out the side a little bit here as well, which I might even do, you know. We'll see what happens. And then in here, we're going to go in a little bit more like that. I might even do... No, that'll take up too much room. We'll do that. And then this one could come all the way across to here. And it looks to me that there's a bay window on the side here as well. So I am going to do that too. So let's crack in a bay window here. We're going to take up as much space of this as we can possibly allow. And I'm going to flop this back here. There's two there. So let's come out this way. And then I'm going to do maybe even bump out the back of the build like this. Let me see that. Yes, I think that could work. And then if we can come to where that's going to be lined up there, I could bump out this even more on this side as well. So we've got, we're taking up as much room as we possibly can and still having quite an attractive shape. Oh, I'm for it, I tell you. Yes, indeed. And um, before I move on any further, thank you all so much for your wonderful dona donations for my, for my last build for the Great Ormond Street Hospital um, where we've smashed our £1,000 um donation target and uh you you lot are incredible i might have had a little cry a little tear up this morning when i saw it when i woke up so thank you all so much to all of you that have donated 
Um, I really appreciate it. I really do. You're all wonderful. I am lucky to call you my community. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I really am. I'm not joking. I'm not bloody joking, darlings. I think you're all wonderful. So I'm going to come across here. And then we're going to move across here. Also, pay attention to the community tab today. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I may or may not. No, I'm going to say a bit more. Um, there may or may not be a, a little cheeky code going off today. And then maybe even another one tomorrow. And then another one next week. Who can say? Um, thank you to EA for giving us those codes. Really appreciate it. Yes, we do indeed. Uh, let's have a little look. Yeah, I think that would be really nice. It's a nice big house as well. But do you see what I mean? The house kind of takes up the lot, which is why we needed back here with the tool mod, really. So a bit of gardening, all of that kind of good stuff. Some like planters and things like that, I think. Um, as always with these parts, we don't really tend to get loads done. But we're going to try and get as much done today as we possibly can. But don't worry, because I'm going to be back tomorrow, darling, doing it all again. Yes, I am. Okay, right. I think what I want to do here, I'm going to leave. Oh, no, we're going to get in the shape first, Aiden. That would work, wouldn't it? You silly bum. Yes. And then you can be copied here. I have, I have, um, there's method to my madness here. We're going to flop you up like that. And then I'm going to bring you back again, my darling. And we're going to flop you all the way along like that. Oh, Oh, she's stunning. Yes, there's going to be quite a big roof piece here. And this roof piece seems to be taller than this, which is um not something I usually do. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go anyway. I'm going to pull these down a little bit now that I've done that. Let me have a little look at you because I still want it to look quite dramatic. Ah, do you know what? I do prefer it taller. I think it's much more imposing. Um, do love a vicarage as well. I do. There's... One near to where I live and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll try and um, get a sneaky picture of it one day and I'll put it up on my community tab or something because it is such a gorgeous build. A build. <laughs> you know you're a Sims player when everything is a build or a lot. <laughs> I say, I say, what a wonderful lot um, quite often. I think what I'm going to have to do here, yeah, this is where things change. So this back bit, I'm going to copy... That shape there, pop you to there like this. Um, I'm going to get rid of, we're, we're going to go in one there. And then I'm going to push this one in. Oh, and then we'll do the same up here as well. So bitty boo and then a whipty wop like that loves, you know. What is a build without me saying a bitty boo and a whipty wop, to be honest. I don't like how close those are together. I think what you need to do is pull you along one. Yeah, I don't mind that they're smaller. I think that could be quite interesting at the back. We'll see. And then I can pull that straight across. Look, so that is taller than the actual main roof piece. Do you know what? I kind of like it, but I do still think that I do need to just bring this down. Just one. We'll go down one. We won't go down any further than a one. We'll keep it as it is like that. Let me see. Oh, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's an icon. You know, and that goes for all of you out there, to be honest. Yep, yeah, like that. Okay, so... Oh. Oh, actually. Hmm. I might even make this smaller. I think I'm going to do a smaller bay window on this side. Because then what I can do is pull that roof piece all the way across. Oh, that one kind of comes out, though. I don't want to come out with that one. No, that's fine. That, that might work. We'll see what happens. So what I want to do is get another roof piece on here. The camera's going to be dropping all over the show because why because sims i bet that frightened at least one person out there and if it did good <laughs> good and this one doesn't go up it does go up quite far though yeah it comes up to about there it looks a little bit small i mean it is that kind of scaling in the actual real life one maybe that could come like maybe Maybe I could make it a four wide one. Let's see what that would look like. Things are changing on the go, loves. You know, sometimes you've got to adapt to life and change things on the go. Yeah, that does look a little bit better. You see what I mean? That just balances out a little bit better in my eyes. Yes, I'm for that. So if, if we've done that here, I'm going to make the bay window bigger back here. 
and then drag this one all the way out to there like this. Oh yes, I like that. Yes, that's the tickly tickly tit, my loves. Yeah, I'm for it. I really am. <laughs> I really am. And then we're going to do a half... Is it gabled? I never know. Hipped. Half-hipped roof. Uh, you'd think I'd know my roofs by now, but I don't. Well, I'm not too bad at roofs. That is a lovely quote. Make sure I write that one down, because that'll, that'll be a lovely um, tattoo, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if I actually got that as a tattoo? <laughs> I do know me roofs. <laughs> It'd be like one of those like TikTok things. Like, why are they? Why? Why? Why do you have that tattoo? Then I get to tell you about you, and it's just pictures of Sims Four roofs. <laughs> Not that, but that. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, that's cute. I could probably put that one up on the top here as well. Uh, here we go. Look, Bob's your uncle. Fanny is your fucking aunt. To be honest, yes. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a nice shape. I like this. I didn't I didn't think I was going to like the taller, like, front roof piece. But it does really work here. I think this is going to be smashing, loves. I really do. So, the things we need to pick now are the wallpapers, the windows and the door. And also the roof texture. Um, and we're going a little bit more gothic. The references that I showed you were a little bit more of a brownie brick. So, I might even stick to those colourings. But I think I want to make it look a little bit more goth gothic. Okay, so I've got all of the windows on. Now, I'm not going to take them off to put them on again because I'm a bit worried I'll forget where I put everything. Uh, I've used a little mixture. I'm a little bit unsure at this one here from my wedding stories, but it makes sense. You know, vicarage, church, it kind of gives a gothic sort of churchy vibe to it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go for. Yes, I am indeed. A bit unsure about this door just yet. I'll need to see it with the wallpapers on. I haven't put the wallpapers on just yet. This is what we've done. We've also made a floor plan inside. So you come in through the main entrance hall here. Now these stairs cut off any access onto this side. But what I've done is kind of like a trio of arches that kind of fan out at the end of the corridor to the other sides of the house. Oh, each side of the house, sorry. Uh, so this one here is going to be the main living room. Lovely big main living room area, which I would love to get a fireplace in. But I just don't know where I'm going to be able to fit a fireplace comfortably. I might even put it here, actually, because then I could do a chimney kind of central on here. <gasps> oh, that could be a vibe. We'll try that. Yes, indeed. So living room. This here, this is going to be a little downstairs toilet. This is going to be the kitchen and dining room. And then this is going to be a little office space that I've got going on here. And then upstairs, we've got three bedrooms. Now, I am thinking about adding another member of the house, uh, another member of the family to the household. I'm thinking about a storyline with Robin and Matthew where they're looking to adopt again. They want to adopt a boy this time um, and a younger, like maybe like a an infant, that kind of route. So maybe that's what they're thinking about. So they're slowly getting things ready for that. And then that's what the third bedroom is going to be for. Kind of love that idea. Yes, I do indeed. Uh, so this is going to be the main bedroom with a big ensuite bathroom here. We've got landing area here with what, another main bathroom there. Um, and these, these are going to be the other two bedrooms. I think I'm going to give this one here to Poppy. So she's got her own little ensuite bathroom in there. I didn't put any windows into this bathroom though. Because one, it would look weird. And two, maybe this was added a little bit later, you know. Um, I might even do that as like a walk-in closet or something like that. I would imagine Poppy's got a lot of clothes. So that would kind of make sense. But I like that floor plan. I think it's going to work quite nicely. Um, and I like the windows as well. Towards the back of the house, we used all of the same windows, but I put some bifo doors off of the kitchen and dining area, so it kind of takes you out onto their back garden. Um, but yeah, kind of feeling it. I think it's going to work. This is when we know, it, this is where we're testing if it's going to work or not, is when we put the wallpapers on. I'm going to wrap all of this in this one here, leave the roof pieces out at the top, because I think I want to add in that darker detail at the top so it looks like the kind of rain's been on the roof flaps um and kind of made it yeah sort of weathered that way a little bit oh, oh i like it but because of how tall this is it kind of cuts off there oh, i can forgive that that's fine that's fine it will make my eye twitch and i will think about it at night but i'm gonna go with it anyway i think that's a good 
I think that's a good um, wallpaper. And it does blend into the world pretty well as well. But being a completely different wallpaper to everything else. But we're going to go down that route. Yes, we are indeed. I would as well like to pick a roof tile. But I'm unsure what roof tile I want to do here. I think it needs to be some kind of slate. And I would like to go for maybe a grey slate. So it kind of like sits against this a little bit differently. Yes, I do like this one here from Werewolves. Is this one from Werewolves? No, Horse Ranch too, excuse me. What would the black look like? Let me just see. Oh, the black is nice. Let me see this all like on that bit. Mm, I think we should still go grey. I like the black, but I think the grey is just a little bit softer. And again, it blends into the world a little bit better, doesn't it? I also had to change this roof shape here and go for a different roof shape. I forget what it's called. I forget what that roof shape's called. And because it was sticking through, once once I hammered through the kind of this area here, it was just sticking through here and it looked weird, so I got rid of it. So we've got that on. Can we soften up the edges maybe with a bit more of a browner tone? Oh, we can look. Let's get that grid off. Yes. Yes, I think that's going to work quite nicely, especially when we get it up here. It's going to really pull that together. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm into it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the vibe. With loads of ivy on it. I want ivy to be grown everywhere. I would have loved one of those like trellis ladders. So Poppy could climb out of it. But it, you have to use that one window that, that's got the gameplay with it. And it just won't suit this build. So I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not. She'll have to sneak out through the front door. Or the back door. The option is up to her. Yeah, I'm into it. Absolutely into it. I think I'm not into that door though. I don't know why. Let me try if it in, just in a dark brown. Oh, that does look nice. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit too boring, but it, oh, that one's even nicer. The warmer brown one. Yeah, I just wish these like, were better swatches. They're such lovely bloody doors. And once again, the Sims team likes to ruin it with bad swatches. Oh, I do like that green though. Oh, that's the tickety-boo right there. Oh, yes. Absolutely full that. I really am. Yeah, into it absolutely into it indeed so as i said we need to get a chimney so i need to think about what chimney i want to use it probably needs to be quite a substantial size um that is indeed what she said uh and i think i mean that's not that's a bit of a chode isn't it i don't really want to go for a chody looking one oh, i do like it on this though especially in that color what about if i size this up if i put it this in this direction so where are we putting that fireplace the fireplace is going to here so if you just page up and then it will pop in the spot and make it look realistic. That does look good there, but I would like to scale this up. So I am going to scale it up to maybe a 1.3 just to see what that looks like. Let me see you, my darling. Oh, you look smashing. You look beautiful. I'm very much for you. I really am. I would like to put some more chimneys on though. Ah, oh, and I did. This one here would have been a great one as well. Mm-hmm. The colours are a little bit naff on this. There was... Well, not naff. They just don't go with this house. I don't mind the swatches on this uh, chimney at all. Oh, I do like that one. Let me. I don't want you to be that way there. Let me see what you would look like this way. Oh, I do like that. Why don't we have a mixture? No. No, I want to keep them all the same. I think the brick one looks a little bit better. Yeah, I think that one does look a little bit better. We're going to do that. And I would love some other fireplaces. I would love one in their bedroom. But again, I don't know really where I would put the fireplace in here, to be honest. Because I'm going to put a door there. The bed's probably going to go there. It's just not going to happen, is it? I'm still going to put some chimneys in, though. So let me dot a few of these around. Yeah, I'm just going to put two at the back. And we can just pretend that these were used. Um, These are unused. They've been blocked off. But it just it adds a little bit to this build, which I like. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Yes, I am indeed. So I would like to get some more details on this house now. And we're going to start off with some ivy. This dark green ivy works the best with this house. I like the colour combination. So let's do that. So beautiful lush ivy. I'm going to try and make it look as natural as possible. Let's bring you all the way along to here. I want it to be kind of draped over this side, really. All the way to there. Can, where can I get you before you start going up? Okay, so there. Up to there. Same here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm looking out for some new podcasts. Has anybody got any podcast recommendations? I like all sorts. I like cr true crime. I like paranormal stuff. Um, and I also like just chatty ones. I'm really enjoying um, Miss Me at the minute, which is the new podcast from Lilia Allen and Makita Oliver. They're kind of best friends. Um, and I love Lily Allen. I love what she stands for. Absolutely adore that woman. And I love Lin Makita Oliver as well. Uh, and you can just tell that they've been best friends for years. And they just have like conversations about everything. And it's a really good podcast. If you're not listening to it, it's on BBC Sounds. If you do want to listen to it, you can get it on Spotify and whatnot. Um, I'm really, really enjoying that. But I would love a few more to listen to. So if you've got any recce's, let me know down below, darlings. Because I would more than happy... I'd be more than happy to take on your ideas, you know? We've all got great taste in this community. Um, so, yeah, let me know down below, please, if you will. If you do, you don't have to. But if you think that you would... If you know, like, a podcast that you think I would like, then crack on, my darlings. Yeah, let's bring that roof out a little bit more dramatic there. Yeah, that ivy looks nice there. I still think we need some up around here as well, so I am going to clamber some over this way. I did put in one of these trellis things... Um, but I know that she's not going to be able to use it. That's so sad that it, and that's the only window it works with that gameplay. I understand why it does that. Like, that window has got the coding on for blah, 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 blah. But I would still love to be able to just climb out any Sims window and open any Sims window. I wish that was a thing in game. The Sims could whip open a window and let their farts out that they've been festering in of an evening, you know? <laughs> Uh, I only say that because my mum used to say it to me when I was a kid. Oh, open your windows and let your farts out. It stinks in here. <laughs> Not that I fart, of course. I'm gay. Um, But yeah, what am I waffling on about? A load of shit, as per usual, isn't it? But we all like a load of shit in this community, as for Dodo. Right, so where am I going here? You're going there, love. Let me see what that's going to work. That does, like, lift off a little bit around there. But that's fine. As soon as you're inside, you can't see it anyway. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you know? Oh, I do hate how Ivy stays like that, though. That really annoys me. I wish that wasn't... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, but a couple of does. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. You're just going to have to work around that, my loves. Um, Yeah, I don't like the way that this Ivy looks at the minute. I will try and make it look a little bit more natural. Uh, natural borders and all of that. I mean, that's a bit better. Let's do one more little small one here. Yeah, that's the tickety-boo. Oh, she's looking marvellous. I think she needs some corbels. And I would like to go down the route of having a bit more of a fancier-looking corbel. What would you look like on here? Uh, oh, do you know what? That looks quite nice. I would... It would probably... I don't know. I think stone corbels would work a bit better here. Maybe I could use... Something that looks like stone corbels. We don't really have anything that looks like stone corbels. So I'm just going to use these base game ones. And flop them on the little edges here and there. Hither and nether, you know? Uh, here we go. I'm going to flop you up to there. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm for it. Let's get you up to here as well. And... I'm going to pop you up to there. We're going to do one at the top for you. I don't think you're going to go all the way up there, though, are you? Oh, you actually did this time. Are you feeling okay, Sims team? Actually allowing me to do what I want for once. Oh, I don't really like them. No. <laughs> I've gone for the ones from Get Together instead. They look a little bit more stone-like, and they do fit the house a lot better. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop two here as well. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it today, my darlings. Um, I think I've waffled on enough today. And we've got the the whole kind of like exterior main bit anyway, complete, which is nice. I do like how it looks and I do like how it stands out in this world, but it still fits in, which is what I wanted with this. Yes, indeed. Lovely. OK, well, we're going to come back to this tomorrow. We're going to be working on more of the exterior um, again, if you've got any ideas, we are going to be filling up that back garden area as well. Um, if you've got any ideas for the storyline, for the family, for the house, then please let me know down below. And I will happily put them in if I do like them. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some gorgeous comments down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.